All right, here we are at 1187 Pickett Road. Three bedroom, one and a half bathrooms, 1,025 square feet, built 1979. All right, I'll give you a little idea of where you're at here. You're kind of out here in the middle of nowhere on a very quiet road. All right. You have this one old house that's abandoned across the street here. I think you might have some neighbors right around that corner right there. Um, then there's a big field over there. Nobody lives. So there's nobody to the right of the house. <clears throat> there's an old rundown house that nobody lives in to the left. you got some neighbors about uh, 200 yards down the road and neighbors 200 yards down the road. Okay? Now we're going to go through this pretty quick um, just because um, this, this is really a, uh, a total gut job right here. Um, plus I think you might need to um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it very well in the video, but I think you're going to end up having to replace this roof. All right. Now, the garage here, they've got it boarded up. It looks like that they were planning on trying to turn that into a room, but they didn't. It's still the actual garage. Okay. It's just not, you can't pull a car in there. It's just storage now. But uh, you do have some wood rot in some places. Um, that right there is going to need to be replaced. Poles aren't, aren't, pretty, aren't in very good shape. Now it is a brick home, so you got that going for you, okay? Now, you got these like, um, I think they're like parquet floors or whatever, um, not in good condition, alright? So you're going to have to replace these floors. There is some waves in the floors, a couple of soft spots, alright? Now the whole house has this baseboard heating and that's probably the one that has, that's in the best shape, okay? Windows are the old wood, wind, wood windows, sorry, um, that I think that will need to be replaced also, but this is the total gut job. You know what I'm saying? Um, here we're going to go in the kitchen. All right. So the cabinets, the cabinets are all going to be need, need to be replaced. They're in, they're in uh, rough shape. I mean, you can probably like um, take them off, sand them down, repaint them, put some new hardware on them, things like that. Um, and they might be okay. All right. But they are probably original from 1979 the countertops are probably original from 1979 i'm going to take it that this nasty stove is original from 1979 maybe not because it's kind of digital it might be 1980 <laughs> all right um so you've got a stove no refrigerator but you do have an adt alarm system i mean that is essential um and there's your alarm system thing. All right. This is, um, I'm pretty sure the thermostat. Yeah. Lovely. All right. So here's the garage as well. I was talking about. Now you have this door here. You got a broken window right here. Broken window right there. Um, they've just boarded up the door. All right. Now it's still the garage. Now that right there is in bad shape. It looks like the bottom of this thing. Um, is rotten out so that's probably gonna need to be replaced soon and that's not cheap all right now that looks like maybe a uh, water softener all right let you look at the uh, electrical panel here it's I think it's marked yeah it's marked so you can see what goes to what okay So, washer and dryer goes out here in the garage. All right. So, we'll head back in. Um, another thing I don't like about it is that there is, that's the only door to go outside besides the front door. That's in the garage, it goes off to the side of the house. So, there's no door that actually goes out back, which, you know, um, is, is, a, is, is, is a turn off for a lot of people. All right. The baseboard heater. That one's in pretty bad shape right there. It's all rusted. These floors right here, um, they look really, really good in the pictures, but you got some, some issues in, in this floor. Like I said, it's still soft. It's still a little bouncy. There's some soft spots in here. Um, there's no transitions. Uh, you got a small um, pantry or, an, or a uh, linen closet. It's, it's kind of nasty. All right. Let's see. Well, I would turn the lights on. 
They're like, well, let's see. Here's the bathroom. It's in bad shape. You got a board down there because it looks like the floor is caving in. All right. I mean, bathtub is not in horrible shape, but I mean, it, this this looks. Uh, I mean, I mean, be honest with you, I've seen better bathrooms than um, some hole in the wall bars. But okay. All the bedrooms, baseboard heating. You need to replace the carpets. Light fixture. All right. Needs painted. I mean, the whole house needs painted. Needs refloored. Re but like I said, I'd be nervous about what is underneath this floor since there's so many waves and soft spots. Here's the spare bedroom number two. Light fixture. Go around. Got the single door closet. Okay. And they got this thing on the back of the door. Not exactly sure what that is. All right. Then we'll go into the master. Now. That is not good. There's the baseboard heater, which uh, kind of half of a baseboard heater, all right? Now this floor here, I'm a little nervous to walk on because this is, right here is very, very soft. Here, right here is even worse. You're gonna hear, cra hear cracking. I'm stepping on it. This right here, um, yeah, that's gonna break right there. All right, give me a little shot at the bathroom. It's gonna have some flooring problems. Got a board underneath that toilet also. Got a little closet there. And you got a small closet here for the master. Okay, like I said, I know that we were talked before, not looking for total gut jobs. Um, you just want something to put some renter in. Um, now, I'll get sent to the video. Um, oh yeah, behind the door, this might be a selling point for you. Cook closet. Just kidding. All right. Um, like I said, it's, uh, it's 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 in pretty bad shape. But anyway, I'll send you the video. Um, let me know what you think, and I will. Um, I'll wait for you to give me a call and see if there's something else that you're interested in, or I'll send you a list of other homes that might be available. All right, that might be uh, something. Just um, I'll call you here in a little bit, and uh, we'll discuss what we're actually um, trying to get into and price range, things like that. All right, one more shot at the house. All right, thank you. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Give me a call if you got any questions. Tim Giffen, Remax Elite Realty Group, 252-808. 5887. Oh, and this is, does sit on a half an acre, but that's what you're paying for. $67,000. Um, I don't know. All right. Thank you. Um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.